thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for these, your people. I thank you, dear God, for this opportunity to stand on your land. It's my prayer, dear God, that every heart that's in this place, every ear that's under the sound of my voice, that you prepare their hearts to receive what it is that you have for them to hear. My prayer, dear God, is that you would not allow the enemy, Lord, to snatch the word, but Lord, that it fall on good ground. My prayer right now, dear God, is that you would allow us to leave this place better than the way we came. So my prayer to God that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. That our walk and our talk, dear God, would be motivated by you. We pray right now, Lord, that you just have your way in this place on today. And Lord, do whatever you want to do. And Lord, have your way. We love you. We thank you. And we praise you. It's in my name, Jesus. Before I read the word, before I begin, amen, praise the Lord. I'm going to share something, amen, and I pray to God that you're able to receive it. Today was designated our back to school bag, correct? Amen. What our children are. <laughs> Who calls somebody? Uh -huh. Who brought somebody? Who encouraged somebody to show up? Who knew about it? Who knows? If my people, word of God, oh Lord, how bountiful are your words? In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. The grass will and the power that will be the word. The word of our God shall stand forever. And you may be seated on this time. How many of you came today to get a word from the Lord? Yeah. How many of you came to just hear what you wanted to hear? All right. Today, we're going to talk about God's wisdom. Right? The wisdom of God. Right? The wisdom of God. Now, when we take a look at the whole idea of wisdom, Wisdom has the connotation of skill, know-how, being able to apply, being able to do something, or being able to figure something out, put something together. Wisdom, it's not just merely knowing, right? But it's also being able to apply what one knows to a given certain situation and to get great results. Wisdom. We're going to talk about God's wisdom. Right now, watch. Some of you are looking at it and you're wondering, you say, Rev, what you doing with that little old bitty shirt on? Well, I said, Back to school, I'm gonna go ahead and break out my old coaching uh, jersey. Right? So that's why I have on what I have on, on today. But at the same time, amen, praise the Lord. I'm gonna talk about it. Some people say, You wasting no way, Pastor. No, y'all just allowed me to drop on this day. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, how many of you know, don't even talk about God's wisdom, you got to 
put that in perspective. Right? Got to put that in perspective. We talk about God's wisdom. I share with you what wisdom is. When you look at God's wisdom, you cannot match it to anything you can even conceive or imagine. Okay? Preacher, let me out of here. How many of you, if you had the responsibility of creating the solar system, would it still be intact right now? <laughs> God's wisdom. How many of you, if you had to create a world to take care of itself to where everything in it would actually benefit the next thing? To where even the negative things or the stuff we would want to throw away actually blesses and takes care of and causes growth in life. How many of us could create a world like that and it would still be intact? God's wisdom. See, God shows himself to man and all man has to do is walk outside. And open his eyes. But the Bible clearly says to me, a fool says in his heart, there is no God. When he can see the evidence of God all the way around. See, Grandmama didn't have a theological degree, but she had good sense. She knew. That when she got in that field, amen, praise the Lord, God had orchestrated things so well to where it had everything it needed and all she had to do was labor, but then wait on God for the rain and the sun so that everything can pop up out the ground. Think about something popping up out the ground? That don't even make sense. Think about it. You put something in the ground and it, it's coming up out the ground. After you put it in the ground, God's wisdom. God wisdom. That's why the scripture says, Oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. That's an old saying that a person said to someone else. He was saying, uh, There was an atheist guy. Or, or somebody who was trying to prove or prove that God didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And he said, so the person who was trying to prove God didn't exist said that he was going to show that he could make something to show that God did not exist. Mm -hmm. And the person he was talking to said, hold up, before you start, put that down. That's for God. We use God's stuff. God gave us our brain. God gave us good sense. And we act as if we don't even need it. How many of you can testify with me in a few minutes that if you good at anything, you can never see someone? That's God's wisdom. Can I help you? Caitlin is one of the best artists in the whole wide world. Guess what? It was already decided before she was even in her mother's womb. She had nothing to do with that. Now, she could walk around all her life and deny that she could do it. But it's ever. God will. Isn't it amazing how God gives each and every one of us something that the next one now? And if we put it together, it's like a sweet song to me. God's wisdom. Because if it was up to us, it'd be my friend, my cousin, Uncle T. Nuckman, my people down on deck. We don't hang with them over deck. No, God don't work like that. God gives what He wants to who He wants to make it work. You know what we get in trouble? We got purpose. And we fight against the same very thing 
that God intended to bless us. Because it ain't what you want. But I tell you what, don't want your heart in sin. Don't want your lungs in sin.
the way I know it's going. When you start depending on that which is untrue and unstable, when the rubber hit the road, when real stuff hit, everything will break loose and get exposed. But that's the world our children are in. Some of our children are using that AI. We don't know it. All you got to do is go on the computer, find what kind of paper you want, and pick college professors are, are stressing right now. Do you realize you can even do it with the technician? You ain't got to respond to your own intention no more. Pop in the text you got, and it's going to give you a response. Go look it up. Fake intelligence. False intelligence. That is what we're relying on. As opposed to what? The wisdom of God. People of God, you want the wisdom of God? Pick that Bible up. Put that phone down. Turn that TV off. Turn that radio off. But we bought in to the lie. Can I help you? That's why they flash 10 million commercials across your screen to keep you distracted. <laughs> doing stuff you ain't got no business doing, buying stuff you can't afford, and indulging in stuff you know can eventually kill you. Yeah. 
had sorrow, if you didn't have anything, what do you have? Listen to me now. Mind you, God might have given him what he wanted. Guess what God showed you? Be careful, because he'll give you what you want. Show us that the food plan you got. Oh, yeah. 
We can arrange it any, any way you want to. He's an all wise God. We're limited in what we can do and what we know. We share this with us and we're going to move on. Listen to me, listen to me well. Anything that God is, which is his character, and has, right? He can provide it to you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Say that one more time. I want you to hear it. Yeah. Anything that God is and has, he can provide it to you. Okay? Why? Because he is he has, and he can do. Okay. I can stop right there. Let me tell you where really truth for the day. Where we mess up in our worship to God. Okay, Pastor, help me out. Listen to me, listen to me well. Some of you, amen, will look at me crazy, and some of you are going to see it. This is what we mess up with worship. Many times we only make worship by what God has done for us. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I help you? That is a half-hearted worship. Thank you to some that's no one. And he who says you must know that he is. First, yeah. that he is. He is what? Everything. Yeah. And then he's a reward of those who are diligent. Yeah. 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 Right? So watch. We must know that he is, he has, and he can do it all. Can I help you? That is where your worship starts. Not with what you can do. Oh, I know it's going to be quiet. No, I, I'm just trying to help somebody. Because if you can only shout and praise God just because he done something, well, what if you bring something you don't like? He ain't good no more. What Job said, shall I receive good or not?
take a look at wisdom. God showed me that he dishes it out yeah. in different ways. Come on. Right? But the main thing we all gotta remember is that it came from him. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's where we gotta start. It comes from him. So guess what happened? Yeah, yeah. That'll stop you from being prideful and acting like you've done something. Mm -hmm. Would you acknowledge it came from him? Okay, why? And that's in the third one, one through five. Mm -hmm. Moses was putting together the tabernacle. And we know the tabernacle, what they would do, they would set up. As they were traveling, they would set up the tabernacle for worship. Tear it down, lift it up. Tear it down, so they were creating the tabernacle. Look what it said. It says, and then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, See, I have called by name, watch, Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, and the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, watch, in wisdom, and understanding, and knowledge, and all manner of workmanship. To design artistic works, to working gold, silver, bronze, and cutting jewels, for setting and carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. Pastor, why are you telling me that? You are able to do the things you do because God has given you the wisdom to be able to do it. My son, and I'm going to say it publicly, loudly, and I'm going to say it to him, and I pray don't boost him up. He is one of the best musicians in the whole wide world. And he could go against anybody. Any man, praise the Lord, that I know, that are, that's even a profession. But guess what? He cannot take credit from God. Why are you saying that? He, God gave him wisdom to do that. So why? When we understand that, we understand that God gives. He gives that wisdom in different areas. Now we can call that a gift, but yet at the same time we understand that guess what? God gave it by His Spirit, Him the wisdom to be able to get on that instrument and make it sound and judge. And that's one thing for all of us to understand. We dare not take the credit from God. Oh, yeah. Never. Oh, yeah. Never. So God gives you wisdom in specific areas to each one of us. You got some people, amen, praise the Lord, and take apart a car and put it back together just like they took it apart and they had to have no road map, no user manual, no nothing. And you look at it, how you did that? I don't know. The Lord put it in my mind. Yeah, you right, the Lord did it. <laughs> Wisdom from God. That's the why you saying that. Because can I help you? How dare we take credit when it was already established before you got here? So anything you're able to do, can I help you? It was the wisdom of God that what? Endowed you to be able to do it. Wisdom. God showed me something in Proverbs as it relates to wisdom. When he gives it to you. When he gives it to you. Now watch. God gives you wisdom to be able to share things with people, to help them throughout the day or with things and you know for life. How many of us can say that we give advice to people and you know God has used us to help them and you know guide them through their problems and their situations? God has used that wisdom. Right? So watch. Here's their problem and actually somewhat figure it out. Anybody can say, you know, they talk to some people like that. Man, they heard your situation and they told you exactly what you needed to do. You went there, you're like, I'll be done. That's wisdom. Right? That's wisdom. God showed me something though. When he gives you something that valuable, I want to show you what he says. Do not speak to be heard by a fool. For he 
will despise the wisdom of your words. See, Pastor, where are you going with that? <laughs> this is where I'm going. Don't waste energy sharing words with those who will not receive. It says, who is wise and understanding your own? James 3, 13 to 18. Who is wise and understanding your own? Watch. Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy, a self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. Watch. This wisdom does not descend from above. But it is earthly, sensual, demonic of the devil. For where there is envy and self-seeking exists, confusion in every evil thing or there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good works, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Amen. Now, watch, the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Listen to me, listen to me well. True wisdom shows up in how you treat people. Amen. Amen. And how you treat people, how you handle people, how you handle people, how you can say that. Well, I'll read it again. But wisdom that is from above. Not from man. Not from air. Not from the world, not from people, from above. Why? It's first full of mercy uh, and good works. Yes. Wait, mercy? How you gonna show mercy toward other people? How you gonna do good works for other people? Without partiality. What does that mean? What? So you you judge yourself? Other people. <laughs> and watch, it says this. It says pure, peaceable, right? Peaceable? How do you be peaceable? With other people. Other people. Yeah. Gentle. Who are you gonna be gentle to? Other people. Yeah. Hmm. Willing to yield. Yeah. What that mean? Willing to yield to dust? Yeah. Huh? Full of mercy, good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. God, the wisdom shows up in how you treat people. That's right. I didn't say it. It's in the Bible. It says, wisdom from above. So why? It's not, it's not based off of some, you know, what somebody has said and no, the truth is in God's word. Oh, yeah. So we gotta understand, we take a look at the wisdom of God. 
God so freely gives his wisdom to us. And let me tell you, he's an all wise God. Can I, you want to get with him. Anyone, amen, praise the Lord, who can create a body that takes care of itself is all wise. Anybody who can create an ecosystem to take care of itself is all wise. Anybody who can create a solar system that ain't fell off the face of it is all wise. You want God's wisdom. You want God's wisdom. We want the wisdom of God, the wisdom that is from above. And when we seek the wisdom of God, God will show us that He can give us what we need to make this life not what lead into our what what we understand, but in all our ways what acknowledging Him, Him, and He will do what. If you pay real study. Make our path smooth. He'll create the way for you. If you just do a study on that, He'll make our path straight. But only what? Trusting in Him. His wisdom. He can do what He's going to tell you. So, can I help somebody? Last thing I'm going to share with you. When you're praying, stop only praying for stuff and ask for the wisdom you need to handle that stuff. Oh, that hurts. Because what's the use of the stuff and you can't, you can't even know what you're supposed to do with it? You want a new job, but you, you, you don't even know how to, uh, you don't know how to address a boss. You can't even listen. But you praying for a new job? You gonna be praying for a new one two weeks later? You need to pray for wisdom to be able to have yourself on that job. We take a look at it. We all have to make sure we give God his just due for who he is and what he's able to do. Can I help you? What he knows goes far beyond what we know. But he's so willing to share with us the things we need in order to what? To make it through our lives. But we got what? Don't trust in you. Don't trust in your degree. Guess what? Don't even trust in that person that you normally call all the time. The Bible says if you lack wisdom, you ask. And guess what the Bible says? He gives it what? Not stingily. So my prayer, amen, praise the Lord, that we look at God for what he is. Acknowledge him for who he is. And we stop there. We stop there. He's an all wise God. Start there. And can I tell you, there's some prayers you want to pray to where you're not even asking for nothing. you just praising God and honoring Him for who He is. Look at the mock prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Stop right there. Just acknowledge Him for who He is. As an all wise God. All who we are. Amen. 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 God bless you.